Alright guys, wonderful morning! Today I'm here to talk about my backpack and I'm using uh, the Osprey Tempest 20 liter, it's the woman version uh, for the men it's the Talon and I just show you what I like about this pack and why I chose it so what I like about it is that it is super small fits a lot of stuff and has a really good back panel a lot of backpacks in this kind of uh, size they don't have any back panel and any uh, waist belt as well and this waist belt for this kind of size is pretty good because you shouldn't carry so much weight in this kind of bag anyway and this gives enough support then I love all the little mesh pockets as well you can stuff a lot of stuff, uh, stuff in here I usually have like my rain jacket in here even and it's absolutely perfect I do love the shoulder straps as well because they are really firm but yet soft and give you a really good support uh, within such a small backpack so I can carry with this kind of system easily 10 kilo without feeling too heavy. Where though with another 20 liter bag without all this support system, I would feel like a lot of weight is pulling me down. And this backpack is also ultra light. It comes in around 700 grams. So then you also have a mesh pocket in the front where you can put wet stuff inside like a wet towel or a wet um, rain jacket then here some mesh pockets for water or whatever and they are really generous um, and then you have a really big department here as well which is opening super wide to the bottom so even if your backpack is full you can get almost everything out of there there's a mesh pocket inside here which is good for all your small little stuff and then here I usually put whatever I need to reach right away. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it about this backpack. I do like ultralight packs as well, like the Hyperlight and the C-Pack. But what I don't like about them is that they're usually uh, only starting with 50 kilos to give you a back support. And the 20 liter ones, they, they just have no support system at all. Another great fact about this bag is that it is super cheap, actually. Um, it comes in around between $70 and $100 you can easily get it for. And, well, where the, the older bags you pay like 300 and up, like that's the cheapest version you can get. But anyway, also if you want to know uh, what I have inside my pack, uh, then check out my ultralight backpacking gear list. And... Yeah, if this was helpful for you, subscribe to the channel and check out all the other videos I'm having. I'm having uh, a lot of um, vlogs as well. So thanks for watching and I see you guys next time.